let's talk about Joe Exotic some more. You said that you 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 knew him, lost touch, and kind of re re reignited your friendship with him or whatever you might want to call it about three and a half years ago uh-huh. how far down kind of the road was joe and his obsession with carol baskin and, and and is the way that the the documentary portraying that is that the truth was he that over the top uh, about just thinking about her constantly yeah okay so basically what my opinion is what I, and i've seen it firsthand is they were just picking on each other back and forth and carol would sue joe Joe would make a music video about her. They were just fighting like a couple school children. Mm-hmm. And they, if they would spend their money on each, on each other's animals, you know, on their own animals, then it would be, they could better the lives of the animals, but they just wanted to waste money on lawyers, fighting music videos. I mean, everything was just so hypocritical. And, you know, Joe was not always crazy as he's portrayed. He, he had a good side at one time. But I think with all the stress, the amount of animals he had, he just lost it. Well, I mean, and, and once again, when you see a documentary, you never know the full story. But it's obvious Joe's very flamboyant. I mean, he calls himself Joe Exotic for sure. Um, <laughs> why, why did he have such a, an issue with Carol and vice versa? Well, Carol wants to stop all private owners. Hmm. So she is pretty much the number one person that's so outspoken against everybody else. So she's trying to close down everybody else. Mm -hmm. So Carol created a lot of enemies by doing that. So she doesn't agree with the cup petting. I understand a little of it, but I don't understand the hypocritical part why she's allowed to have animals in cages, but nobody else is. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and Joe Exotic always wanted to be famous. He always wanted to be in the newspaper if it was good or bad. And he wanted to be a star so bad, he would go. He would do anything to try to be a star. As we can see, because even that's something that you see throughout the the documentary. Is he's filming his own kind of reality show as they're fi- uh, filming the documentary, kind of behind him. But I guess I, I, it was the fact that Carol kind of had the money to be able to to fight him. Is that why why she she would want to continue to try and bring him down because she could afford to? Did it become personal between them as well? Yeah, she probably spent, I would say she spent a half a million dollars to try to collect a judgment that she knew she could never collect. You know, it was basically bankrupt them, you know, and just keep them in court, wear them down until he closes up. And, you know, that's what Carol was doing. I mean, she was suing and suing and suing. And, you know, I didn't think that was right because it really didn't go anywhere. You know, the park's still open today. It still has animals still doing the same thing it did when Joe had it. So, you know, I, I just, I don't, I don't see the whole purpose in it. Were you aware of kind of the thing about this show that's so incredible is, you know, there's seven episodes and like I said, it starts out going one way, but then every episode, something else happens that just, I mean, it goes from murder to disappearance to bigamy, gay marriage, double gay marriage, cult, cult (laughs) activities. I mean, it just never stops. Uh, were you aware of all these backstories that were going on before you saw the actual documentary? Yeah. There, see, I actually never watched the whole thing. So I have people that tell me about it. I mean, I really, you know, haven't watched it, haven't sit down to watched it. But Joe was like, he's like a sideshow. You know, he did things. I mean, he went over the top on everything, like always having two husbands. Mm-hmm. You know, he'd spend money on things like putting his his picture on Hollywood magazine, you know, he'd pay for a front cover. Oh, wow. He just always wanted to be so famous, but he was, what people don't realize, what I, the show didn't portray is the darker side to him. Mm. You know, he shot a lot of animals. He was killing animals. He was selling parts. The show didn't really dig deep and it could go a lot deeper, you know, if there's more seasons and things. Oh, wow. So what you're saying is, is, is what do you mean selling parts as food? Yeah. Well, what he would do is like, for instance, one time uh, somebody was trying to board some animals. These people paid to board the animals at Joe's place while they took while they took some time off. So Joe didn't have any cage room at the time. So Joe simply goes out back, calls five tigers up to the fence, and puts a gun in their ear and shoots them. He had gotten pretty evil, you know, and doing the evil things to animals. And you know that's why I got involved. You know that's why I agreed to help the feds. You know uh, because the animal killing. Not necessarily just the murder for hire, because 
on the murder for hire, he broadcasted that to every. He asked everybody if they'd kill Carol Baskin. 